Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Boy Ghost GG. And we're continuing with Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Last time we left off at the end of the coral um, town here, uh, with the ropeway leading to the Golden Saucer. So, Golden Saucer, I'm assuming is this actually. But I went backwards and I finished off any stuff that was just here. And I tried to, and I looked into going over here, but it turns out you can only go over here once you're chapter nine and beyond. I just searched it up real quick. I didn't look anything further than that. I saw chapter nine. And I was like, okay, I have to be chapter nine. We're currently on chapter seven, but I believe once I take this rope boy up, we're going to be at the start of chapter eight. And then after that will be chapter nine. And then we can go over onto this side. That's what I'm assuming. Um, also, I went back to the Junon region. And I finished off the two uh, uh, Queen's Blood card games here, including, uh, can I zoom in? This one, which had a star against it. This is Cameron, the uh, champ, the, 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 the champ. I'm, I'm assuming it's a champ. He was the special one that unlocked. But once I beat him, a cutscene triggered, which I wasn't expecting. And I quickly paused it and I recorded it. And you're gonna see the recording here now. <laughs> I don't understand. It was just supposed to be a game. No. There it is again. In that voice. Could it be? It has returned. No, that's impossible. It's just a silly card game. <laughs> Oh God, what have I done? I have to tell them. They all need to know the terrible truth about Queen's blood. Okay. Were you granted a transcendent vision, as I too was? You look as though you've just seen a ghost. Saying that, I'm reminded of the story of Lidrell Balmon, the creator of Queen's Blood. After he started selling cards, he spoke of hearing a strange voice. He then withdrew from the public eye and became a recluse. No one saw him again until his death. There's no shortage of people who've had their lives turned upside down by the cards. Just goes to show what a deep and captivating game it is. Indeed, this match of ours stands as proof of that truth as well, I believe. Thank you for this experience, my friend. And now that we've seen that, uh, it was a little cutscene, but it gives us some background into Queen's Blood not being just a card game that we get to do just for the hell of it. Just something fun to do on the side, you know? It, there's something else going on with this game. And um, I am curious to figure it out now. I have done every single uh, Queen's Blood game so far. If you zoom out here. Uh, four, oh no, sorry. Three out of three, six out of six, and two out of two. Uh, so we're on our way uh, of doing all of them. I'm going to be doing all of them. Uh, and I'll make sure the next time I come across a card player with a star, I have a recording right from the jump. Uh, I did not know there's gonna be a cutscene. But with that being said, let's continue on. Because I have I can't do anything else until we continue right. on. Then let's go. Yeah. So we won't be returning back here till for a while, so. This will take us all the way to the salsa. Hey, you can't let those assholes talk to you like that. We should go back and beat him up or something. Practically, the whole damn town came out to crap on him. Someone tell me why I'm the only one who's pissed here. I told you. I can take it. Think you could at least tell us what it was all about? They were talking like you sold them out for money, but... I know that isn't true. That's not you. So how'd they get it so wrong? 
They're not wrong, are they? Where the hell is it? This about her? About Marlene? much. Decent place with decent coal. Decent folks, too. Rough around the edges, but big hearts. Salt of the earth. And I sold them all down the river. Took away their future and their hope. Oh, baby. Oh, six years we earlier. Happy. Covered in soot and porous dirt. But none of that mattered. We had friends and family, and that was enough. Till we learned about the miracle of Mako and all we'd been missing out on. And then we just had to have a taste. Oh, this bitch. So now only Dine is opposed. Oh. Damn right I am. We can't just abandon the mines. Not after our fathers and grandfathers risked their lives to maintain them. I hear you, Dine. I do. But nobody sees any future in coal. So I ask you, why break our backs working harder and harder when we're taking home less year after year? Mm. Mm. <sighs> If I may, sir. Once the reactor is complete, a portion of the revenue will go to the town. Your community will be preserved, or enriched, I should say. Listen, man. This is your chance to give your daughter a better life than what we have. Yeah. You think I haven't thought about that? Come on. Are we gonna let some city slickers tell us our coal is worthless? We gonna let them tell us we're worthless? It would seem we've reached an impasse. In which case, any further discussion would be a waste of breath. So, Mr. Mayor, shall we put it to a vote? that uh, Barrett still has his arm here six years ago before everything went to shit two years later the reactor was finished and the trial run went off without a hitch everyone was ecstatic convinced it was the dawn of a new era then one day... <clears throat> the reactor exploded. Y'all saw the aftermath. And then, Shinra came rolling into town. Burned everything. Innocent people in their homes. Was that Scarlet? It was, wasn't it? Yeah. That bitch. I don't get it. Why burn the whole town? To craft a story that it was all the work of a local insurgent group. Ah. Uh... But ain't no villager ever gone near the reactor. They lie right through their teeth. Murderers. Hmm. That they are. Still, there's a whole lot of blood on my hands, too. I push for the reactor. I put us on the path that brought us here. Oh, man. 
The saucer's waiting. I mean, he was trying to help his community be get some money, you know? Is this really how it's gonna be? Listen, I don't want your sympathy or your pity. You can keep all of that nonsense. I did what I did, and I can live with it. Right, we gotta shake this off. We're about to rock up to the funnest place ever, the gold saucer. Huh? So turn those frowns upside down. <laughs> What in the hell? Ain't no one but you thinking about how much fun we're gonna have. Right? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe Cloud's the other one. Wanna have a look? It's coming up over there. <sighs> Glad to see we're all on the same page. Golden saucer time, baby. Oh, yep, there we go. Episode, episode, chapter seven complete, chapter eight. <laughs> yeah, battle square, chocobo, look, or something. Look, look, look. Something's coming. Whoa, Is that different in Shiva. This place is dope. <laughs> Damn. I like the festive music. It's nice. <laughs> Baron and Cloud are on the same page. They do not want to have any fun. <laughs> oh, hey. They made it. That's nice. Now, why don't y'all let the robes off and go have some fun on a roller coaster? Healing material. Nice. Region skies above. Oh, hey, it's this dude. I can't remember his name though. Barrett Wallace, Tifa Lockhart, and Cloud Strife. Look at them. Look. Waltzing around with the flower seller and Hojo's lab rat. Who are these people? At least they're finally on a real wanted list. It's about time. That's all well and good. But why am I in charge of handing out the posters? Don't they know I have a division to run? I think you're where the president wants you. Are they heading to the golden saucer as well? Or no? I have no idea. Cloud, the others are waiting. Oh, these are just golden saucer helicopters, I guess. 
All our scheduled flights are currently full. We apologize for the inconvenience. All right. What is that thing? Welcome one and all to the gold saucer. Beyond all right, guys, let's get up there. Fantasy is so. You know what? What's wild? Final Fantasy 16 was the last one that came out, right? Going from Final Fantasy 16 to this is so funny. It's amazing. Oh my god! Wait, isn't that her trainer? That's her martial art uh, teacher, right? Damn, homie is. Damn, look at him. <laughs> this place is wild. I'm oh going to carry him. Those poor guys. for the evening. <laughs> Welcome to our gilded paradise, the Gold Saucer. Oh my god. Dio, our director. Dio. And you, sir, are... Wait, that isn't the martial arts teacher, is he? Well, I don't know why. Shall we do? I never played the original. I don't know who Dio is. Homie is jacked. Oh Let's my god. Go. Now, now, when fate sets us a challenge, we must rise to meet it. Are you ready to rumble? What are we doing? You can do this, Cloud. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> I still don't understand what I'm doing. <laughs> oh no, what the hell happened to me? Oh, I'm, okay. I'm like an avatar above him. Are we dancing? Oh, is this a... Oh my god, it's a dance battle. Is it? I don't even know, actually. I'm gonna stop talking. I don't know what's happening. For you. I don't know what I'm doing. Alright! Well... All right, so give it the opposite of what their hat is. Walk them into sway. Well. 
have what it takes. I doubt it. Man. Oh fuck, I press the wrong button. Oh, press the wrong button again. Oh fuck! Well oh, I don't know what I'm hitting at this point. Left stick, I'm an idiot. Alright. I'm ending this. That uh, one, it seems. How can this be? Yeah! Nice throwing. <laughs> Expertly done, Cloud. Well fought, young man. <laughs> Let's give our worthy contender another thunderous round of applause. No wonder they keep getting intercepted by the Turks. Everywhere they go, they end up doing something them gets people's attention. <laughs> like, this is not laying low at all. Come on. <laughs> Alright, well, that's our introduction to the golden saucer. Jesus Christ. <laughs> well... Thanks. <laughs> nice punching up there, Cloud. <laughs> A small token of my thanks. <sighs> One golden ticket. Your ticket to paradise. Oh. <laughs> <Snore>. Cool. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> thanks. Nicely done. So I'm pretty nervous. No. Cloud's used to performing in front of clouds. You should have seen him at the Honey Bee Inn. Eric. Oh, you've got to tell me that one later. Welcome yeah. to Paradise, the gold saucer. So, now that we're here, let's have some fun. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Sure. Sounds like a plan to me. I had my fill of fun in Costa del Sol. Let's put it to a vote then. Teensy little break. All those in favor? Hmm? Me. Me. No, <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're outnumbered. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. I uh. Have your fun while you still have time. Oh. Hey, maybe you should lie down for a bit. No, I'm all right. Come on, man. I know this ain't to see. Why don't you and me go book us some rooms? <laughs> well, the four of us are off. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Get some sleep, okay? Hmm, let's see. The hotel's gotta be that way. Go square, huh? What the 
hell is wrong with those guys? It won't last. What? Lock it up. When it's gone, so's this. Where'd that come from? Paraphrasing you. Well, you're not wrong. Oh, Jesus. I get your point. Live it up while you can. You just not promised to no one. That was cool. Oh, that's Barrett's ass. A reading to clear those somber skies. Whether it be uh, dark or bright, I'll read your future right. Just gonna go shooting the messenger, eh? This some kind of toy? You do, lads. Eyes up here. Huh. Oh. Okay, Seth. Fortune yeah. teller extraordinaire. Hates it. Put it there. Huh. It's a toy, all right. Pretty lifelike, though. Come on, pal. Give us a smile. <laughs> the gold saucer's meant to be a happy place filled with happy people, don't you know? So show us those pearly whites. Back off. You coming? Someone's got a bee in their bonnet. All right. See you later, Kate Sith. A haunted hotel. Like a room, please, for whatever reason. I'm gonna find a normal hotel, but Tacky get what we get. Understand. Great. Hello? <laughs> Welcome, gentle sirs. Oh, what in the hell was that? <laughs> My most sincere apologies. <laughs> we almost gave him a heart attack. Yeah. Got any rooms? There's six of us all told. Well, five and one pet. Hmm. Might I inquire as to what kind of pet? Uh, he was joking. Make it six. Very well. Now then. Hmm. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, gentlemen, but it appears we're all booked up for the night. <sighs> for crying oh. out loud. What about the other hotels? Forgive me, sir. But according to my records, all of our hotels are sadly fully booked. Oh, what? No. <laughs> Hello again. Nowhere to stay? And what's it to you? Now then, did you want one suite 
or two. Ah, you trying to scam us? I wouldn't need dream of such a thing. And to prove it, I'll foot the entire bill myself. And we haven't paid for shit along sure our way. Will. Well, aren't we a prickly bunch? This entire journey, I haven't paid for one single hotel room. <laughs> Dangly man, would you mind checking one more time? Mm. Mm. Oh, a timely cancellation. <laughs> the Tonberry and Elagor suites have just become available. Shall I book them for you? <laughs> <laughs> it feels so good to do good. All right, lads, enjoy your stay. <laughs> to why, though? Your suites are on the fourth floor. Please proceed to the elevator at the top of the stairs. Hmm. Why would you help us out? We just met. There you are. The offer still stands. A fortune or two to steer you through. You can answer any question? Of course. Be it this, be it that, go on and ask the cat. Okay, we're looking for Sephiroth. Think you can find him? Oh, Sephiroth, you say? All right. Hold on to your underpants. Meow, 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 meow. Things are looking up, so throw caution to the wind. Put your trust in others, and a last-minute twist may pleasantly surprise you. You're right. What's this got to do with Sephiroth? What indeed? Give me another chance. I'll get it this time. Come on! Watch your belongings. Lucky color. Black? <sighs> We're done. Wait! Don't go! Third time's a charm! Come on, you stupid thing! Anything the matter? <laughs> Seek and you are sure to find. But alas, you shall forever lose what you cherish most. Oh. <laughs> the stars work in mysterious ways. <laughs> you good? Yeah, it's just what I cherish most. See what this crap does. My apologies, sir. Oh, that's gonna fuck with his head, isn't it? You wish to go down, I presume? Fourth floor. Oh, uh, of course. Very well. Fourth floor it is. Goodness me! Oh my god, they're here as well. <sighs> Were there two suites for them by any chance and they got cancelled? <laughs> <laughs> Reservation under the name Palmer, Director of Space and Aeronautics. <laughs> yes, of course. Uh, one moment, please. <laughs> Space and Aeronautics, huh? It says here you canceled those rooms. Ah, uh... no, we didn't. <laughs> While we did have you booked for the Tonberry and Elagor suites. Yep. Mr. Palmer sent word that they were no longer required. That's impossible. Uh, is something wrong? 
We lost the rooms. What? Tell him who I am. I did. Oh. Well, no point dwelling on it. Now, where can a man get a drink around here? <laughs> you waitress. Ah, uh, so the two rooms were theirs. We've arrived. Farewell. We hope you have yourselves a ghoulish and morbid evening. You're gonna see them from up here, but maybe they're gone already. It's an amenity thing, oh my god. More toys. You're a fire of some sort. <sighs> Start to miss Johnny's seaside flea trap. I'm gonna head out for a bit. Cool. But not for fun, just to take a walk. You've been acting pretty weird lately, Cloud. Rest up and shake it off. You hear me? Yeah. I hear you. Oh my god, there's nothing in it. Oh my god. Why are we staying here? Oh my god. We could never get a constellation in like some other hotel. This is ridiculous. thought. Sorry, man. Feel like I failed you. So that's Zack talking to us, right? Sorry, man. Feel like I failed you. Oh, yeah, I can move. Huh. Never seen material like this before. Something about the color. Didn't peg you as a bookworm. Oh, we're in a wheelchair. Oh, we're back at Eret's house. Look at this. I've been here in a while. Pretty sure we slept upstairs, right? Oh no, maybe we just slept in the other room. Just, just spread. Oh my god, look, there's no flowers. They're all dead. Oh my god. Horrible. Not Charlie. Oh, very confused. <laughs> we 
Would you care to join us? Definitely. I'm starved. <laughs> You're supposed to say thank you. Yes, ma'am. No, you're supposed to say it now. Thank you. Hey, did someone come by the house last night? Oh, you must mean Biggs. He Biggs. was just dropping off some food. Then what's with the sneaking around? You've seen those wanted posters all over town? Well, his face is on them. Biggs, my boy Biggs, he survived. We saw him at the orphanage being taken care of uh, at the end of remake. Wedge, Jesse, come on. Boy, still alive. How do you know him? I'd rather let him explain. So long as Marlene's here, he'll come around again. He won't. Biggs isn't coming back. Tifa isn't coming back. Daddy isn't coming back. Nobody's coming back ever again. <laughs> sure they will. And I know just how to prove it to you. I'll go and get Biggs. Right now. Mean it? Always do. Honest and true. But <laughs> let me guess. You don't like dumb rhymes. <laughs> no, I like rhymes sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad, kid. Aw, oh, sack. <laughs>